So in this video, I'm going to do um, questions four, five, and six from your quiz. <laughs> um, so the 2017 Gallup poll concluded that 4.5% of adult Americans identified as LGBT, with 5.1% of women identifying compared to 3.9% of men. And different survey estimated that 0.6% of US adults identified as transgender. So Question four, if we were to randomly pick two adult women, what is the probability that neither of them identify as LGBT? Please give your answer as a percent with one decimal place. Which percentage from this, uh, power, uh, this the which percentage out of here do we need for this question? That's the first thing you gotta figure out. Which percentage? So. This is 4.5% of adult Americans. This is 5.1% of women. That's 3.9% of men identifying. All right, so we're asked about adult women. So it's right here. So we're using the 5.1%. How are we gonna use it? What's the probability neither of them identify? Okay, so first of all, what's the probability that one of them does not identify as LGBT. What's the probability of one of them? So get that first. All right. So probability that one of them does not is 100% minus 5.1%, uh, isn't it? So that's 94.9%. Or 0 0.949, right? Now, what's a, if you randomly pick two adult women? What's the probability neither of them identify, right? So that means the first one doesn't, and also the second one doesn't as well. So that's two independent events, one after the other, and so you multiply those out, right? Or you could square that same thing. Um, so 0 0.949 squared, right? So that's 0 0.9006, so one and so on, but it says, please give your answer as a percent with one decimal place. Okay, so I'm gonna move the decimal point over here to get percent, which is 90 point what? So it's gonna have one decimal place. Right, so we're going to round up because we've got a 6 here, right? So round up, 90.1%, right? Question 5. If we were to randomly pick two adult men, what's the probability that they both identify as LGBT? So press pause and try this. The first thing you need to do is figure out um, what percentage you need out of this small paragraph, short paragraph. Right, so wh which percentage are we going to use? 3.9% of men for randomly to pick two adult men, right? So, so the 3.9% is the percentage we need to use, okay? And what's the probability they both identify? So what's the probability that one of them does? The probability that one of them does is 3.9%, right? 0 0.039. Right, but we want both of them to, that would be two independent events, one after the other, and so we can multiply those, right? Right, 0 0.039, or same thing, that's 0 0.039 squared. Right? Or in your calculator, it might be to the power of two, right? And that gives us 0 0.001521. But please give your answers as percent with one decimal place. So as a percent, move that over. And we have a decimal point there. So it's 0. Point something percent, right? Because that does one decimal place after the So 
So it'll be 0.2% because you'll round this. Because of the 5 here, you're going to round up, and so that becomes a 2, 0.2%. Okay, you could also write that as, um, take another step and say, okay, that's 0.1521%. Um, now I'm going to round, right? So now I'll round the 5 up and get 0.2%. That's another way of doing it. But. Okay, in question 6. In your new job, you'll be working with 20 adults. Now this is... Okay, just using the national poll results above, what is the probability that none of your new colleagues identify as LGBT, right? So what percentage do we need to use out of this short paragraph? So it's 4.5% of adult Americans identify as LGBT. Okay, so in question six, it doesn't specify whether you have men or women, just adults. So we'll use this 4.5%, right? Okay. Um, so that's the percentage we need. And what's the probability none identify as LGBT? There's 20 adults, right? So we need to use 4.5% that that's, that's the probability an adult does identify, but the probability that adult does not identify is 100% minus that, which is 95.5%, right? Okay. Now, so probability that one adult does not identify is 0 0.955, right? Probability of that two, two random adults don't is 0 0.955, isn't it? What about three random adults? So if you need another one as well, now that's 0 0.955, right? And so on. But we've got 20 adults, so we have to multiply 0 0.955 20 times. So 0 0.955 to the power of 20, right? Or in your calculator, 0 0.955 uh, to the power of 20, okay? So what does that give? So 0 0.39816 Okay, and please give your answer as percent to one decimal place. So move this decimal point over two spots. I'll just take a couple of, so 39.816 and so on, percent, that's what that is. But we round it to a percent with one decimal place. And so it's gonna be 39 point something percent, 39 point what? 39 point, well, there's a one that's coming after this eight, so we round down, so 39.8%, right, 39.8%.